Hi guys, it's Mike here, and in this video I want to help you study for your Word MOS 2013 or 2016 exam. In the first video in this series, I focused on the skills that involve creating and managing your Word document, and now I'm going to move on to the Word MOS skills that involve creating tables and lists. This video will help you learn how to master these skills for your MOS Word exam. So before we get started, just two things. Um, this is a uh, this is a Word document that I created. This is not a uh, interface of the exam or questions from the exam, but they might be similar based on Microsoft's uh, website that tells you sort of what's on the exam. That's how I create my questions. I just go to the skills under create tables and lists and come up with the questions using a Word document. So this question asks us to insert a page break before the Moaning About Mondays heading. So I'll just scroll down. And the reason why um, this would be helpful in this case would be because um, this, if we put a page break here, we could move this section down to the second page and leave this area for the first page. So I'll just click my insertion point um, before the heading. And then in the Layout tab, I'll go to the Breaks drop arrow and choose which break I need. And they're asking for a next page section break, so not a page break, which sounds like it might be what um, you're being asked for, but I want a next page break to move the items down to the next page. And you can see it's done that. So that is it for step six. I'm gonna just click this to show that I've completed it. And we're gonna jump to page two now and we're going to convert this table into text so get rid of the table completely by converting it to text so just um, I'll highlight the table by clicking a cell in here and then just see this little arrow right here I'll click on that to highlight the whole table and if you want to change the design you would go to the design under the table tools tab once you've clicked on the table and I've got some options here I could change the table colors and things like that but to convert the table to text you would go to the layout tab and then click the convert to text uh, button and it said uh, our instructions say separate text with paragraph marks so paragraph marks are already selected you might um, have to separate it with tabs or commas but in this example they're asking us for paragraph marks so we just click OK and now it's a paragraph not a table so that is it for this step and now we're going to turn what we just turned into a paragraph into columns and what I'm going to do is the instructions tell us to the section the not so fun fact. So it starts here and goes to the bottom of this paragraph, the least rainy days of the week. Um, we're going to convert that to two columns. So normally your page is just in one column. Uh, we can make multiple columns by in the layout tab. Instead of going to breaks this time, we'll go to the column drop arrow. And you could easily select two, but I just want to make sure that the columns, I, I don't want this for my whole document, so I'm going to go to some more options by clicking on the more columns and then just double checking that, that I've highlighted this and that it's applied to the selected text and not the whole document. So it's the selected text that I've highlighted and then I can also just change things here. Um, if I wanted to change the spacing in the column, I could do that here as well. Or if I wanted to put a line in between um, the columns, I could do that by clicking uh, in this checkbox. But we're only asked to put in two columns, so I'm going to press OK. And now the area is separated in, into two columns. So now we're done with that step. And this next step will ask us to um, create lists or bullets or bullet points. So it asks us to highlight the text that we converted into paragraphs. and it says we want a multi-level list. So in the paragraph group, there's the bullets, the normal bullet list, the numbered bullet list, and the multi-level list. So that's what we have to uh, choose from. And we'll click the drop arrow. And then we'll match the symbols that are asked for, the, um, the number, the letter, and then kind of the letter again. So that is this type of style, the 1AI. And we'll choose that because that's the style they want. Now, so level one is just for the, everything that we just put on the pages um, by default level one. So to change the, so not so fun facts and fun facts, 
um, have to be level one, so we'll leave them there. And if you want, there's two ways to do this. You could, to make this a second level bullet, you could just press tab. Or on the next one, I could just go to the increase indent button, uh, whatever you prefer. So either way would have worked. And you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be marked wrong for doing either one of them. The end result's still the same. So I'm gonna press tab on this one, uh, press tab, and then also make sure that uh, these ones are second level bullets by pressing tab, and then, so that sort of makes sense. These are sub bullets to this uh, big heading here, and these are sub bullets to this bigger heading here. So now you have uh, not so fun facts and fun facts as level one um, multi-level list uh, bullets and bullet points, and everything else is a second level uh, bullet point. Now it asks us to also select the section Sunday through 1000, that's right here. Uh, just use normal bullet points. So I just click and that's the default option. And then also it asks us to use a font or a text format called small cap. So that is in the font group. And we just click the small caps uh, checkbox and press OK. And now that question is complete. So just one more thing about creating lists. Uh, I'll show you some advanced, an advanced option here. So let's say I'm creating a spelling bee. I have my list of words. I highlight this. I could do a normal bullet or a number bullet point. But let's say I want to be a little bit more creative and add a picture bullet point. You can do that too. If I go to define new list and click picture, um, I can search the internet for pictures. So maybe I want to go with the spelling bee um, theme with this page so probably not uh, probably not the B from Transformers so maybe I have to be a little bit more specific here uh, spelling B and uh, that's something that icon is something I'll, I'll probably use and it's round so it looks like a bullet point and I can just press OK and then um, I've used a picture bullet point so this is how you create a picture bullet so that is it thank you so much for watching and if you want to catch the first video in the series just click this video right here. And if you're new here um, and you want to see uh, more videos like this, remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.